This is a question on memory, smriti, and brain potential from last week. Marshi explained last week that by awakening smriti, or memory, through transcendental meditation, we awaken our creative potential. My question is, what is the relationship between memory and brain functioning? Is there a direct correlation between how much we remember who we are and how much of our brain we use? Brain is made of memory. <laughs> you know, the whole physiology of the eyes, of ears, and, and this, and this, and this, and this. This is what? From memory only. Memory is, <laughs> memory is an element which is functional. <laughs> And what other thing is functional is that of which the memory is made. Memory is made of what? Memory is made of the unmanifest. Unmanifest, which is unified field. Unified field has all the memory within it, innumerable memories are within it. One example, that the, the hollowness of a bunion seed, it's all hollow, there's nothing there. But in that hollowness, memory of thousands of leaves and branches and flowers and fruits whole tree is within the memory of the unmanifest. This unmanifest is the, is the empty space, empty. Unmanifest is empty, there is nothing in it, but it has all the memory within it. <laughs> and that word in the Vedic literature is Puran. Puran is ancient, they say, ancient. It is not translated as ancient. That means it's ancient. It's always ancient. It's always ancient. It's always full of memory. And what memory is there? Sanskrit expression for it is yatha purvam akalpayat as it was before because for memory there has to be something before of which the memory will continue. So the memory is of that which is called ancient puran, the self ancient. That, then the ancient, the unmanifest, is very interesting, huh? The unmanifest is the material of which memory is made. And what the memory has? The memory has all that is going to manifest and memory is that which was manifest before unmanifest. So memory and the material, the <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we can talk in terms of raw material. The raw material of which the memory is made is manifest. All the manifest is there in the unmanifest in the form of memory. In the form of memory. So whatever was there before, it is there as memory, 
And from memory, the memory comes out to be the sound. They call it prakriti, the nature. The nature works. Prakriti and purusha, the purusha doesn't work, and the, the nature works like that, like that. So the whole, the whole smriti is the, is the, what? Is the custodian of everything. Is the unmanifest. Just that example of a hollowness of a seed in which the total tree is there, but it's there in the memory form. From that memory, it springs out, it becomes manifest. So the unmanifest, unmanifest is made of memory, complete smriti, smriti labdhva. Now, our meditation, analyze this meditation program, we have to get to the transcendent. It is get to the transcendent. It is get to the transcendent. What we are doing? We are memorizing something that has gone out of our memory. Transcendental experience is just <laughs> memorizing what has gone into memory. And then what happens is, this transcendental remains to be an all-time memory, more concrete memory. And then what remains in the awareness is creativity, total creativity, total creativity. And total creativity means huge cosmic intelligence. This is possible through education to any single man. Now compare the great advantages of the modern system of education or this Vedic system of education which gives him the hold which gives him awareness, which gives him concrete floating in that which is the field of all possibilities, which is a better education. It's a different world. It's a different world. Either you become a shopkeeper in a, in a market or you own the whole market. You own the whole market. To learn to become the, the master of the market, that is one training. The other training is how to sell a, an apple from where to get the apple, at what cost to, to get the apple, and how to keep the apple, all about the apple, all about the apple, all about the apple. Against all about the whole market. This is that Vedic education, which is going to be made available by the governments of every country now, when the peace government is going to come out. But because people have not known, have not seen, they say what or what, they all depend upon the, how the government acts and all that, all that. But whatever the government acts is frivolous, it's very, it's childish, it's, it's, uh, it's not right, that's all to say. 
It's a complete different civilization, Vedic civilization. Vedic civilization. So we are going to establish a civilization. What the name? What's the name? And we have started on a global level. 108 countries and one, two, three, four. Just this one thing, whether in a two-year course you can learn how to own the whole market or you can learn how to sell a basket of uh, apple. <laughs> Owning the totality, own the totality. That is why all the time, throughout the ages, the light of God was aspired by the fortunate, by the intelligent. The light of God, where everything is a possibility, finished. It's very beautiful time for us. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful for us, for us as individuals, for us as individuals, to float on that level where everything is a possibility, everything is a possibility. <laughs>